So this is something a bit different for the channel. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. Today, well, I'm taking a look at something slightly different in the world of smart home devices, you know, where you've got light bulbs and cameras and switches and stuff like that. I've got this. Now, some of you might recognize what this is and others might be thinking, hang on a second, this looks a bit dodgy, where's he going with this? Uh, well, this is a soil moisture sensor. Uh, and this is something I've gone and bought from AliExpress recently. This was um, just about 20 pounds. Uh, it is Zigbee. Uh, so, um, you know, this will integrate quite nicely with my home assistant uh, network. And um, it took about 15 days to arrive, so not too bad. Uh, it is IP67 waterproof. So, you know, you can use this uh, on your indoor plants and you can use it for your outdoor plants. So I got this primarily for outdoor use. Uh, you know, coming up to the summer months in the UK now, and I, you know, I didn't really want to be killing all the plants this year. So um, just to make sure we're keeping them all watered, I got something like this. So we'll give this a try. Um, not going to do an unboxing for this because uh, really you don't get a lot. You, in, you know, that's the box. Inside the box, you get the leaflet and you get this. Um, you know, as I say, it is Zigbee. Uh, it works on uh, Toya Smart Life, so you know if you use that ecosystem, you can hook it up to that. Um, but basically, it takes two AA batteries, as you see in the screenshot here. You know, there's just a little plastic cover on the back, and the batteries go in there. And then um, you've got a little pairing button on the front here. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's my device, but on the instructions it says um, you know that will will flash when it's in pairing mode. Mine didn't, and I thought it was actually broken. But when I went into Zigbee to MQTT and uh, you know, turned on to accept devices, sure enough, it, it came up as a device in the list. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this set up, uh, show you, uh, you know, kind of like the uh, entities that you get with it with uh, with Home Assistant, and uh, I'm going to get it in the garden and water some plants. So out in the garden, and this is the plant I'm going to use the soil sensor with. So uh, just take the three little plastic uh, covers off the metal prongs and then just pop it into the soil uh, so that it goes all the way down to the, the plastic base. And that is it. So into Zigbee to MQTT, and like all Zigbee devices, it is best to um, have them join the network when they're in situ so I'm doing this whilst it's in the uh, by the plant and uh, you know it, put it into uh, join mode and within a few seconds it has uh, started the interrogation of the device and has configured it and it's on the Zigbee network obviously it doesn't give it a fantastic name so I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to call it the garden soil sensor and I'll uh, I'll update my Home Assistant Entity ID to just to have a friendly name for that. So just into Home Assistant on the computer. So I've just set up a new tab so I can put these entities on there. Uh, so I'm just this is just an example. So I'm just going to get rid of the existing default entities there, and then I'm going to look for my garden uh, soil sensors. I'm going to put the battery on there, and I'm also going to add on the uh, moisture level as well, the soil moisture level. And then finally, I'm also going to put on the temperature as well. And uh, I'll just save that. So just basic uh, three entities on that card. So back out into the garden, just looking at this on the mobile device. So as you can see here, I've got the battery level reported 100%. The moisture, soil moisture level at 75%. It was flicking between 75 and 90, um, but has settled on 75 and then the temperature at 21 degrees Celsius. So the leaflet that comes with it does say it could take you know, up to 24 hours for the values to update, but I've found they came through pretty quickly into Home Assistant. So whilst I'm primarily going to use this to indicate I need to go and put some more water on the plants, um, you, know, you could use this as the starting point for a smart home irrigation system. Uh, you know, there's lots of products available in that space there, uh, you know, as, you, as long as you've got the capability of being able to run all the pipes and everything. Um, but, you know, this you just put a few of these around the garden in some of your key kind of areas and then, you, you know, you could 
uh, have that automatically water your plants for you. Uh, I, you know, I don't think this is an expensive entry point for something like this. Uh, I think it's a pretty good price for it. Um, but do shop around, you know, if you're buying off AliExpress, some of them do vary quite a bit in price. Um, but I'd love to know your thoughts on this, as I say, you know, something a little bit different for the channel. Um, you know, I, I haven't really seen an awful lot of something like this. Not everyone's got a garden, so, you know, maybe of use on indoor plants. It's not very big. It's about the size of a, uh, you know, a, um, a soft drink, something like that. So uh, not huge. Um, but, you know, love to know what your thoughts are, you know, drop them down below in the comments. But if you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.